In Star Wars The Phantom Menace, the Sith Darth Maul revealed himself to two Jedi, the Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn and his Padawan Obi-Wan Kenobi. The Sith Apprentice had orders from his master Sidious, who was secretly the newly deemed Chancellor of the Republic, to kill the Jedi and retrieve the boy Anakin Skywalker, who both Maul's own master and Sidious's master Plagueis believed could be a powerful future Sith Lord. After commencing a spectacular lightsaber duel, Maul managed to kill the Jedi Master, impaling him through his midsection with his dual-bladed lightsaber. Maul then moved on to the Padawan Kenobi, overwhelmingly confident his victory was inevitable. But due to the Sith Lord's arrogance, he was defeated, and seemingly killed after hesitating to kill Kenobi, and taking too much time to revel in his triumph. But after this, and after returning to Coruscant and the Jedi Temple, Kenobi and the Queen of Naboo, Padme Amidala, approached the Jedi Council, explaining that Jin had been slain by a Sith Lord. The Council was utterly shocked, with some members questioning if it really was a Sith at all, or merely another Dark Side user. However, Kenobi was confident Maul appearing on Naboo was the first known public appearance by a Sith Lord in over a thousand years. Terrified by this, the Jedi Council ordered Kenobi and the Queen to secrecy, and kept the knowledge of the returned Sith confined to the Jedi Order. The Jedi did not wish to see this information leaked, as it would cause mass chaos across the galaxy. Originally, the Jedi believed there could be thousands of Sith waiting, as before they had departed into hiding, the numbers of the Sith were many. However, Yoda had discovered more about the Sith through a Jedi learner who had delved into forbidden teachings and discovered the ways of the returned Sith, relaying his newfound knowledge to a select group of Jedi before his demise. This led Yoda to believe that there was only one more Sith Lord, but that the Sith had indeed returned. The Jedi kept this knowledge and their efforts to track down the second Sith under lock and key, as the last time the public encountered the Sith, the Order was massive and widespreading, which would lead to chaos throughout the galaxy. During a briefing with a select group of Senators, Jedi, and Chancellor Palpatine himself, the details of Jin's death were revealed, and Palpatine learned exactly how his apprentice was defeated. This is what Sidious had to say on the matter. Against all my teaching, Darth Sidious later would note, he hesitated in order to revel in his triumph. Maul did not have enough time to parry the blow. That must have been the last great surprise of his life. My worthy apprentice failed me in the end, for in his vanity and impatient hunger for victory, he had underestimated the resilient Jedi. The Jedi ultimately decided to fabricate Jin's death, explaining he was in fact killed in the battle, but not by a Sith Lord. Unfortunately for the Jedi Order, they were forced to restrict their movements while searching for this second Sith Lord, as not to tip anyone off to the fact that the Dark Order had indeed returned. Of all the Jedi, Jedi Master Dooku was the most frustrated with the Order's choice to keep the information private. Dooku believed this would be one of the last straws that the Jedi Order would commit, compromising finding the second Sith to keep the public comfortable. Dooku was already frustrated the Council had not heeded Jin's original pleas for aid, and thus needlessly put his life and the life of his Padawan in danger. For a brief amount of time, within the Jedi Order, Dooku searched for information on the second Sith, but ultimately grew too frustrated and departed in hopes of locating the Dark Lord by his own means. After being converted to the Order of the Sith himself, Dooku under the command of his new master commissioned the clone army. He did so under his Sith name Tyrannus, which would later be believed by the Jedi to be the identity of this mysterious second Sith Lord, and only at the end of the Clone Wars would they discover Dooku and Tyrannus were one and the same. Ultimately, as we've explained before, the Jedi became a slave to the Republic, compromising missions and beliefs to keep the people calm. The irony being, in the following months after Jin's death, public opinion on the Jedi drastically decreased. Sidious, following Maul's death, began pulling strings related to the Sith, but using pawns that were not Sith themselves. Sidious, without ever having to come into direct conflict with the Jedi, managed to kill two council members by manipulating others. With the Jedi unwilling to reveal they believed a Sith Lord was behind these attacks, the public grew to distrust them even further. Later, when Dooku emerged as an enemy of the Republic, the Jedi still refused to reveal his new status as a Sith Lord, with them being utterly embarrassed one of their own had fallen so far. Dooku, while leading the Separatist movement, would comment on this, saying, Unlike the Republic, corporations do not rule us, they just provide us with our armies, our fleets our military leadership, and it just so happens to be the founding members of our government. In the end, the Jedi's distrust and direct affiliation with the Republic in general became a key contributing factor to their downfall. The public at large grew to the point they distrusted the Jedi so greatly, they discarded them entirely. But there was hope. The insight Dooku received about the flaws of the Jedi would later be inherited by Luke Skywalker, who realized the Jedi were meant to work with and serve the Republic, but not become a big part of it. 
Luke would later go on to note, the Jedi had begun serving the Republic fully and lost sight of the greater galaxy at large. So that is why Qui-Gon Jinn's death and the appearance of Maul on Naboo were covered up by the Jedi. They did so because they did not trust the public and even a lot of the Senate, and this distrust and conformity would later cause the people they worked with and served to turn on them entirely. The Jedi allowed fear of the Sith to control their actions, just as the Dark Lord Sidious had hoped they would, and they inadvertently allowed him to continue to move throughout the shadows. So how do you feel about this, and the fact that the Jedi chose to cover up Jin's death and Maul on Naboo? Do you like it, or do you think it was the wise move to keep the Sith under wraps? How do you think things may have been different if the Jedi had revealed that the Sith had indeed returned? Do you think they could have prevented Sidious's rise and Dooku's fall to the dark side, or was all of that already set in motion? Anyway, thanks for watching the video. If you have the time, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like, as it helps the channel out a great deal. If you would like to ask questions and speak with me directly, my Twitter is at StupendousWave. If you haven't already, maybe consider subscribing to ensure you stay up to date with everything Star Wars related. Thanks again for watching, may the Force be with you, and have a great day.